Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about problems measuring inflation. There are some problems though in terms of inflation. Now one of the key problems in terms of measuring this, how do we get a, a correct measure of inflation? Well one of them is the substitution bias. So this happens if something goes up in price and consumers substitute away from that. So they, they don't spend as much on it anymore. So for example, if people like watching their TV, they might be used to your uh, cable or satellite TV, which is relatively expensive. However, streaming has come on board recently with Netflix, etc., which is cheaper than your traditional satellite TV, in which case if people are streaming, and spending less on uh, satellite TV, there's a substitution bias. The CPI mightn't capture that. Also, there's unmeasured quality change sometimes in the CPI in the measure of inflation. So what that could mean, for example, is that if you were using older technology and it was costing, let's say, 500 for a laptop and you know, back in the old days, the floppy disks were very inefficient. Uh, Laptops have moved along and they've improved substantially, but their price hasn't increased. So sometimes the price isn't a correct measure of quality. Number three, the introduction of new goods are sometimes not captured. As it's a fixed basket of goods, sometimes new goods are slow to come online and be represented in that. So uh, Amazon's new products, 3D glasses, etc., Sometimes they won't be reflected, so price changes in new goods mightn't come in there for a number of years. And number four, people are not average or typical customers. So the CPI, inflation, tends to work for a typical customer. Very few people are typical, maybe not at the extreme of buying yachts, etc. But if your expenditure isn't represented by the CPI, which is up here again, well then it's not measuring correctly for you. So it's not a personalized measure for people. So we do have a couple of alternative measures of inflation, one of which is something called the GDP deflator. So this is the ratio of nominal GDP to real GDP, which would be set to a base year. And that would be a different measure of inflation because it reflects the prices of all goods and services produced domestically, where CPI is about the consumer goods in an economy, and that includes everything imports as well. So it reflects the price of currently produced goods and services services, whereas the CPI is a fixed basket. However, it does include things like imported goods. So there are pluses and minuses to this alternative measure. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.